Wayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. Got a cash register here, a little SwinTech battery powered, uh, but it also uses an AC adapter right here. Just reworked it. I'm going to plug it in and give this a little video test run here. So let's turn this booger on. And let's see what this. So I got the date program in here. Nothing else because they're going to. They don't know yet what their rate's going to be, but today is the 12th of November, 2018, and it just runs up regularly. That's how that works. And let's see. Uh, so I had to rework the drawer on this. Well, the rails were... I just reworked the drawer rollers and also replaced that... Uh, that bill weight here is broken, got fixed up, and then I ended up uh, turning this off. Ended up replacing the batteries back here. Let me unplug this. So the screws are still out here, but replace the battery pack and make sure the wires are soldered in properly here. That's for the memory. And I'm going to put a little wedge in here, this little wedge, to keep it safe because I'm going to ship it back. That's going to help keep those batteries from getting dislodged. I'm going to put that wire down there and close this back up. So we'll put the screws back in this. It's kind of a funny register. you got to actually take, take it apart to change those batteries and stuff. But, you know, I didn't design it, so if I did, these, this battery pack actually runs it on batteries, C-size batteries. So you don't need a power adapter, which is the last register made that you can use on battery power. That's kind of cool, I guess. And I get this last screw in there. These screws were missing when I got it. It's a little banged up. It's got a little dent here. And a crack over here on the side down here, but all that's good. Underneath the... Uh, printer cover, just have paper and I made this little spindle here so it holds the paper a little better. It snaps in there kind of tight. It's got battery on and off so that should be on to retain memory. Let me turn this thing back on. Let me plug it back in. And, uh, turn this guy on. I need the paper through here this. Oh yeah, I fixed the uh, lid here. It was cracked. So I remounted it. Here's how you do the tax program. And that's, that's a couple other things I did to, yeah, clean these dials up. I got another video that showed how to do that. But this guy's up and ready. I'm going to do a print a Z report here. Needs a new ink roller, which I don't have, but she said she's got one, so that's it. That's our little video of the uh, Swintech SW20. Turn this off. All ready to be shipped back to, uh, I forget where, Arkansas maybe. Alright, have a great day.